Hello everyone, myself Monica Rajkumar and uh, today I'll be discussing about the uh, automation of Sholin extraction from UAS imagery. I'd like to thank the contributors, Dr. Sudhakar Nagarajan, who's here with me, and uh, Dr. Ramesh Tigavarapu, and the land manager, Peter Javit, and I extend my gratitude to Florida Atlantic University. We'll be covering the background and the objective of the research and a short look on data collection and the processing, which is followed by the methodology that we use to extract shoreline. Here we have our study area. Uh, it's actually located in Jupiter, Florida, with the Indian River bounding our shoreline of interest to the east and Loxahatchee River to the south. More particularly, the area of interest is highlighted in, uh, in red. And this uh, study area has been supervised by a Bureau of Land Management. Over time, the shoreline has receded significantly and hence capturing it frequently uh, is a vital process. Being complex and dynamic, the shoreline reflects the natural process like erosion and deposition. Since the traditional methods on shoreline extraction needs more man hours, automating the process is very important. Elaborating on the significance of study area, there is an impressive number of species located in the ONA uh, and over 700 species, out of which 28 species are considered special status. Apart from that, the ONA receives an average visitors of about 100,000. Um, and we, Florida Atlantic University, have been working on the site for past several years, mostly on the archaeological investigations, and we perform shoreline change reduction and the volume change along the shore. Um, we also perform land use, land cover mapping using machine and deep learning techniques. Whenever we perform change reduction and uh, compute the volume change, we usually digitize the shoreline manually, which is going to take a more man hours. That is where we have been motivated to automate the shoreline extraction process. These are few literatures that support our automation process. In all these literatures, they have been implemented that the um, methodologies like band ratio technique or NDVI and NDWI to extract the shoreline. Uh, and using one of these approach, we try to automate the process using the UAS imagery. We used Red Edge Mica Sense for data collection and its specification is given in, here in this table. And the wavelength can also be seen here for each band of the Red Edge Mica Sense sensor. Data was collected separately for two different regions, north and south in the Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse ONA. I have listed a few uh, notable advantages of the UAS, like it's a low cost device and uh, it accesses like even inaccessible areas and it takes very less uh, duration for the survey. The imagery acquired by the drone was initially processed in Pix4D Mapper to produce the 3D point cloud products, digital elevation models and ortho mosaic. This is the overall methodology that has been adapted for the research. We can go through the result at each step in the coming slides. The five band imagery is the one you see here in the left. Uh, it is used to generate NDWI. In common, NDWI uh, uses near infrared and uh, green or near infrared and short wave infrared, but we modified this NDWI by using green and red edge bands for uh, better accuracy. NDWA raster is then thresholded and uh, noise has been removed from the raster by applying smoothening process, uh, which output you can see here. The output raster is then converted to polygon and the largest po water polygon is selected to generate the line feature out of it. Some unwanted lines like linear rings have been removed and then we join all the splitted lines in order to capture the largest line feature out of it. Finally, the line feature in the area of interest has been chosen, which is the shoreline. The above mentioned step is put together using ArcPy in order to build a geoprocessing tool in the ArcGIS Pro. This is the developed geoprocessing tool for the shoreline extraction, which takes five band raster as input, and we have to give the uh, output path for coastline and the shoreline. Coastline is the line that separates the water and the shore, whereas the shoreline is the line that separates the shore and the land. As you can see here, this is the output of shoreline and coastline from the uh, developed geoprocessing tool. 
In detail, this is the output for the north region. Whereas for south, it looks like this. Here we can clearly visualize the results of shoreline and uh, waterline in yellow and red. Uh, the pink line shows the manually digitized shoreline, whereas the red, you can see the uh, perfect demarcation of the shoreline. The research performed a quick and cost-effective UAS-based shoreline extraction for the Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse ONA. Though the shoreline is captured perfectly, the uh, water line is not proper in some certain region. Uh, this misinterpretation has to be improved in future. To summarize, uh, it reduces the man hours in digitization, and it can also be uh, further automated to regularly monitoring the shoreline. And it uh, uses the red edge uh, sensor, um, and it still needs human intervention to uh, modify the water line. Uh, the results of the research can be uh, further used to perform shoreline change reduction, and the volume of uh, soil erosion can be computed. In addition, various other bands can be uh, compared and the deep learning model can be developed for performing higher accuracy to extract the shoreline. And uh, we can also reduce the execution time and the same methodology can be adapted for larger area. These are some of the references for the project. We'd like to thank Bureau of Land Management for their support. And I also extend my gratitude to the Department of Civil, Environmental and Geomatic Engineering in the Florida Atlantic University. Being at the end of the session, please let me know if you have any questions for us. Thank you for giving the wonderful opportunity and thank you for all your patience.